Hey y'all, it's Marcia. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show y'all how I achieve these finger coils. So I begin by shampooing my hair. I did that off camera and I used Palmer's Olive Oil Smoothing Shampoo. And after I did that, I followed with their deep conditioner. I've been real lazy with my deep conditioners, but I've been trying to incorporate them for every wash day as I used to do. So I just work that in and you can leave it on for two to five minutes. I left it in for five. I then washed out the deep conditioner and I used a t-shirt to dry my hair to cause less frizz. I'm going to use Palmer's Natural Hold Flaxseed Gel and this would be the only styling product that I use to achieve these finger coils. And I'm just going to begin by separating my hair because I want to give myself a side part. And from there I'm just going to section off my hair so I can begin doing these finger coils. And as I was sectioning off my hair, I decided to run and get my Demon brush. I wasn't planning on using it at first, but then I figured using a Demon brush would really help the curls pop more at the end of my finger coils instead of just using a comb. So that's the reason why I decided to go in with my Demon brush. So now I'm just going ahead and starting from the back section of my hair. Now I'm going to go in with the Palmer's Flaxseed Gel and I'm applying it section by section with a generous amount and I'm going to go back in with my rat tail comb just to smooth the piece that I'm working on so I smooth it through and then I just twirl the hair around my fingers several times until I get a nice little coil and this was real simple to do for my shorter sections the back and side I just twirl it around my fingers several times until I got the coils that I wanted and when I got to the front I had to do it a little differently so I'll show you guys in a second so as you see I just coiled the back until I got to that crown section. So now I'm going to the sides and I'm just going to do the same thing. Now my hair at the front is a lot longer than the sides and back. So as I get to the front, I have to twirl in the same way I did before, but I have to pinch my hair midway so that the hair doesn't uncoil. So I'm going to show y'all again. So I just go ahead and twirl the hair as I was doing before. And then I have to use my opposite hand to pinch the hair as I get midway. Again, just so that the coil stays in place. And once I'm done coiling the hair, I just let it air dry for about three hours, which is not a long time. So um, compared to my usual drying time for other styles that I do. So once my hair was 100% dry, I went ahead and uncoiled it and then I recoiled it. So I'm taking each coil and I'm twisting it in the opposite direction of which I coiled it. I separate each coil into about three pieces. After I separate each coil into three pieces, I go back and recoil it just to keep that coil in and make it look super defined. And I could have separated a lot more, but I wanted this style to last a few days, so I decided not to make it too big for the initial, um, you know, the initial style. But of course, I still had to go in with my afro pick just to fluff it a little bit. So comment below and let me know if you're going to try this style. And if you do decide to try it, tag me on Instagram so I can shout you out in my Insta stories. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.